What's the problem on our problem? We have x's and units. Yeah. You know what's not cool about integrals is you can't pull out like an x squared. That just doesn't work, right? Because otherwise these problems will be very, very easy. Otherwise you can just separate them here and that would be nice, but you can't. You have to make everything either all x's and work or use and work. The problem is this is our problem, that x squared right there. This is nice, this is nice, that's great. That's our problem. How do we deal with our problem? Well, maybe you see it. Do you see anything we can do? We could kind of maybe manipulate the substitution we have to fit that. So for instance, look at our, our substitution. It's u equals x minus 1. You follow? Here's the logic here. I hope you can follow this. The logic is, what if I can somehow make another substitution for x squared? If I can do that, maybe it'll work. I don't know. But we're, we're trying here. But maybe we can do that. So, so look up here on our board. We got, we got u equals x minus 1. What I want you to do, when you, whenever you get this case, and you know you made the only substitution you can make, right? That's the only one you can make. That's it. No other substitution would be even close to good. You know you have the only one. Try to do another form of substitution over here. So for instance, I want to get an x squared. Let's make this somehow an x squared. Tell me what I have to do. Probably solve for x first would be a great idea. Let's add 1. If you add 1, do you see that you get x equals u plus 1? Follow me on that? x equals u plus 1. How do you get x squared out of x? That is an equation, isn't it? Mm -hmm. If I square both sides. Yeah, that works. That works. You okay with that one? Note that if you distribute this, you get u squared plus 2u plus 1. You still okay? Should we distribute it? Yes. Uh, notice there's no dx, there's no du, there's nothing because we haven't done derivatives here. All we're doing is making a direct statement of what x squared is in terms of u. And we got that from our substitution. By show of hands, how many feel okay with what we've, we've just done? Have I lost you at all? No, we're okay? Okay. Let's see what we have. Instead of x squared, I've already solved for x squared. I've got u squared plus 2u plus 1. What must, absolutely must, why? Because we have multiplication. And you got square root of u. Probably a great thing to do at this point would be change that into an exponent. u squared plus 2u plus 1 times u to the 1 half power du. Now, why did I do that? Why, why is this going to work for us? What can you do? If you distribute, everything's in terms of u's, right? Can't you use those exponents to your advantage? No, notice we, what we can't do. We can't just take an integral right here. We can't take an integral right now. We would have to absolutely distribute that. So when we do, recall that you add exponents when you multiply. So this is going to be u to the 5 halves. This will be 2u to the 3 halves plus u to the 1 half du. Did I do my math right on that? Can you take an integral of that one? Very easily. Each one of those fits. Remember, we're going to stop writing our integral. If we manipulate those fractions, what I'm looking at is 2u to the 7 halves over 7. 
plus 4. Notice the 2 times 2. u to the 5 halves over 5 plus 2u to the 3 halves over 3. We're very close to done. What's the last thing we got to do? Yeah, we got to make sure we're in terms of x, not u. Put a plus c at the end and we will be done. So final answer. What was it? X minus 1? Now, you can make those all roots if you'd like to. They're all square roots of x minus 1 to some power. Uh, you can leave them as, as fractions. I really don't care. As long as you make that far, that's great. That's what I care about. How many people feel they can make it that far? Good. Now, we have a couple more minutes. So let me show you one more example. Uh, we'll finish this off next time, but I want to just talk about the first step. What's a good choice for your u? Is it 2 minus x? Is it including the square root? Is it the 2x squared minus 8x plus 1? Probably. If it's going to be anything, it's probably that. You don't want to pick just a little piece of that. If you're going to pick something, pick the whole thing inside, right? Not the, not the whole thing including the square root, but the whole inside part for sure. If we were to pick that, which are, is really, if you can see it, you kind of under, get an understanding of this substitution thing, that really is your only, even close to good choice here. You with me? Now the problem is, if I take u for this, is my derivative of this up there? What is my derivative? Dx like that, right? Make sure you have parentheses around that. My question is this, can you make this thing look like this thing? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Factor, out factor out not a 4. Not a 4. If you factor out a 4, please watch. If you factor out a 4, you get x minus 2. Does that match up? No, those are not the same. Negative 4. Oh, negative 4. If I factor out negative 4, negative, positive, or in other words, That. Does that match up? Yeah. Now that's great. That's what you want to have happen. So the reason why I give you these last uh, four examples is to show you that your U might still work, even though it's not maybe completely obvious to you. You need to think through it. You might have to manipulate just little pieces of it, and then it, it works perfect. Remember, it has to work perfect. Otherwise, you can't do a substitution. So it, somehow manipulate it. Work with it. Don't just give up on it. Well, so we'll finish this one off next time and uh, two more. So we're going to continue finishing up this problem. Uh, what, we're, what we're seeing is how to do substitution. Even when it doesn't look like maybe you can do a substitution, sometimes you can. So all you got to do is just try it out. Now, last time, I believe we were talking about picking this is our, our u and seeing if the substitution will work. When you pick your substitution, again, it has to be on the inside of something, and typically everything, as far as the derivative goes, must also be in your integral, disregarding the constant. So here we're going to have a du equals 4x minus 8 dx. We all know how to do that. The problem is that's not directly in your integral. So you're going to have to manipulate it at least somehow in order to make this thing work. Now, one thing people suggested was, what if we were to factor out the 4? If we factor out the 4, you got x minus 2 dx. That looks pretty close. Pretty close, but it's not exactly right, and it's got to be exactly right for you to eliminate it. You follow me? So uh, what was the suggestion someone else gave after this? 
maybe instead of 4, yeah, then negative 4. Because what the negative 4 would do, factor negative 4 out, changes that to a negative and that to a plus. And if I just reorder it a little bit, I get 2 minus x dx. So far so good? Of course we can solve for dx. And now we're finally ready to do our substitution. If we do the substitution here, we'll get, do we still have a 2 minus x on the numerator? We still have a 2 minus x on the numerator. Yeah. That's not something we've gotten rid of yet. Remember, the only things you can get rid of is whatever you're calling your u and whatever you've solved for dx. So that's the only two things you really substitute in for. Everything else should take care of itself, really. So here we haven't touched that yet. That's 2 minus x. The square root, should the square root still be there? Mm -hmm. What's inside of the square root? U. That was our entire u. You're right. And then should dx still be there? The x? No, no, no. We'll make that substitution, that nice jump. It's also nice that we made it look exactly the same here. That way it's very easy to see what we can and what we can't do with our problem now. So what can you do? That's completely gone. What do you do with the negative 4? Okay, so I'm going to make it negative one-fourth, if that's okay with you guys. What else would you like to do? <coughs> Turn the square root of u into a negative u to the negative one-half. Okay, so the square root itself turns into a one-half, but then to move it to the numerator, that's where it becomes negative. So yeah, you're absolutely right. We're going to make this... Negative one fourth, we haven't done anything with that. Integral of that's u to the negative one half du. From here, it fits our table perfectly. That's great because if it didn't, we'd have to do more work. We don't want to do more work. Make it as easy as possible, then do your integral, then re substitute back in from u back into terms of x, and you're done. So in our case, we've got the negative one fourth still hanging on. We've got u to the, what's that going to be? One half. One half. Over? One half. Over one half. Yeah. Exponent over <coughs> new exponent. Still okay? You sure? Mm -hmm. This one fourth and that one half, notice that really this two is going to go up to that numerator because you you separate, reciprocate, and multiply. You get, I'll, I'll show you both steps here. You'd get negative one-fourth times two u to the one-half, like that. Well, this is going to simplify. Negative one-half u to the one-half. Or you could have it u to the one-half over two. Negative u to the one-half over two, that's fine. What we got to do now is what? Yeah. So I'll make it negative one-half u becomes whatever we had for our substitution. That's 2x squared minus 8x plus 1 to the 1 half power. What's the 1 half power again? Square root. So could you write this as a square root instead of that 1 half? Mm -hmm. Sure you could. That's fine. Plus c. 